Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a full edit of this picture here. It's, it's fairly dull, um, but it's interesting because you've got the water and the trees and the water and so on. It's sky, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll replace the sky. But let's just do a little bit of tweaking first. Notice here the histogram is this space either side of it, which is why it's kind of dull. So we're going to use the exposure to sort of turn that up to centralize it a bit. Then to fill in those edge bits, you pull on the black point to stretch it downwards and the brightness to stretch it upwards. And we'll do the rest in the photo persona. So I'll develop that. Okay, first of all, let's look at the crop. And I'm just going to pull up this down here um, to put this in the on the thirds there and that down. And I'll pull down the top to give about a third on the sky, then apply that. Let's replace this sky. So I'm going to go to the selection brush, make sure snap to edges is set. And just paint around here. And it'll snap fairly well to most of this. There we go. Now we need to refine it. So I will increase the size of the brush so it covers that. Things like this. Then I can paste paint over the edges of that to get the mountain edge there. Then for the trees here I'll do a single sort of paint over the lot of it so you can just go figure that out for me. There you go, it's looking through that. This one here again, I'll just go over the whole thing. Let it rethink it. Get all those spaces in the middle. There we go, and the trees on the horizon over there. Okay, that's good. Let's apply that. Now I just can hit the delete key. And then Control D to get rid of the marching ants. Because I'm going to put a new sky in here. So I've got a photograph here. This has got sky in. So I just go to the background here, right click and copy. Then over here. And then I can hit Control V to paste it in. I need it underneath. So I'll drag that down to the bottom. And there we go. I've got the sky. Control zero to fit everything in nicely. Then get the move tool. And I can now move around the sky to where it I'd like it to be. So oops, you can see there's a picture underneath it. I like this kind of line there. Maybe down about like this. However, I've got some telegraph wires in that, so I just need to paint those out. I'll use the in painting brush over here. I've still got this selected, so I'll click on one end there and then shift click at the end. And it should draw a line all the way up it. There we go. And click down here and shift click up here. Is that okay? There's a little bit there. There we go. That'll do. Right. Now then I'm just going to go and zoom into that. Does that look all right? Yeah, it's done that okay, isn't it? Control zero to get back out again. Now then, let's see if I can do some improvements like this up here. Let's start off adjustments and curves just to brighten the whole thing up. So we'll drag this up like this. That's already a lot better because if you've got a nice day in the sky, you need to have a nice day underneath here as well. So that'll be okay. And let's try using selective colour just for fun or we'll see what happens. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go to the whites and see if I can make it whiter. So if I pull down the blacks here, see it's it's adding some shine effectively to the, the water. See the white bits of the water makes that a little bit whiter. That's okay. Then I'm going to go to the neutrals and have a look at what this does. And this particularly affects the background. So I'm just going to turn that up a bit. It'll dehaze it a little bit. 
and give it a little bit more contrast. Be very careful, there's a small amount that's going to have an effect. And I go to the blacks. If I turn up the blacks, it just adds it a little bit more contrast. So that's a bit stronger. Now then, I'd like to see a bit more light in here. Notice the sides of the trees are lit more, and you typically get yellow in that. If I drag down here, you can see where there go into that lot. You can see we've got high red and high green that makes that yellow. So let's go to the yellows and say what can I tweak here. If I pull down the black that's going to make that a little bit brighter. Go as far as I can without it being becoming unrealistic. Maybe boost the yellows a bit, make it a little bit more. How about the green in that? Maybe just a little bit there. Anyway, there we go. That was a pretty quick conversion, wasn't it? Going from that one, effectively, to this one. There we go. Full edit, about six minutes. Thank you very much for watching.